Hello, hello, developers, and welcome back to Elixir Pro. This video will be a different kind of video. We're not going to be programming Elixir per se, but I'll show you guys how I set up Elixir in my own machine and how I compile the language server to be used inside the Vim and some tweaking around my Vim.files. Well then, without any further ado, let's get started after the intro. So the first thing that I want to show you is um, how I use ASDF for my current environment. So if I type ASDF current, we should see like all the languages that are installed in my machine. And uh, you can see like here the Elixir version, which right now is 1.10.2 with OTP 22. And Erlang is with OTP, it's Erlang version 22.2.1. Since Elixir 1.11 was released last week, I think I'm going to update this to the newest version. So what I can do is type ASDF, update, plugin, update Erlang. This is updating all the Erlang, currently it has already been up to date. So if I type ASDF, list all Erlang, I should see all the versions of Erlang. And I'm going to grab like the latest one, which is 23.1.1. So we can type ASDF, install Erlang, 20. 3.1.1 okay this might take some time so I'll get back to you once this is compiled okay this took quite some time uh, you can see right now that we have Erlang version 23.1.1 in my local machine now we need to type like STF global Erlang 23.1.1 if you type now ASDF current, we should see like that the version of Erlang was updated. Now we're going to update Elixir to version 11 and we need OTP 23 right now. So let's do like ASDF plugin update, but now Elixir. If you type like now uh, ASDF list all Elixir. We should see now that we have a uh, Elixir 1.11.0-RC OTP 23. That's the version we are going to install in the local machine. So let's type AS, ASDF, oops, ASDF install Elixir. And let me grab this. This version of Elixir. This is actually quite fast, I guess, and we're not gonna need to do some transitioning. Oh, uh, maybe we do have, so let's get back to once this is done. Okay, we're back and Elixir 1.11-RC it was installed. So we now just type ASDF, global, Elixir, and we can pass the version that we installed. So we can now type ASDF current to see if we have our version installed. And yep, we did. So we have an updated version of Elixir. Step Elixir dot dash dash version. We see that we have Elixir dot eleven dot zero with OTP twenty three. The next thing that we're going to be doing right now is to compile the language server. So let's do this. Okay. So right now in my my root folder, you can see I have like. Um, ls la I have like this file here called elixir.ls if we enter on it we see that we have this this, uh, this project uh, this project URL is this one up here let me post it here it is this this repo the uh, elixir lsp elixir ls what we will be doing is this. We are going to go back one folder and let's like mv.elixirls to dot elixirls dash old. So if I type right now to run like uh, my my vim, we should see we should find an error. So let me go to a project here, project elixir. Could be like this version of mine. Let me open like any file here. Dot ex could be like um, let's go here. Okay, left tracking. And you see I received an error over there saying that the 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 cock, which is the the thing that generates that that supervise all my my languages in, in Vim is not working. You see here, like failed to launch the server, saying that that thing, that path over there, which was the previous path that we had, does not exist anymore. So you need to 
to once again compile that and that's what we're going to be doing right now okay so let me get out of here so what i want to type right now is git clone and i'm going to copy the elixir ls which is this thing here and okay we can copy it here we can see that we have the 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 folder here we're going to be moving this to dot elixir ls to dot elixir ls next thing you're going to be doing is like cd into that we're going to be updating the the release two versions no it was the uh, maybe it's we don't need to update nothing let's go to the mix file let's compile with elixir 1.8 plus so i think it's fine you just like mix compile we actually need to to run this thing here mix compile and mix release underscore last release to the output of the release so let's type this yep let's install that oops mix depths.get And now let's run that, that command over there, mix compile, mix elixir less dot release, dash output release. So we're back and this thing was compiled. So if we go back to a project, and if we enter in this once again, now we see we have no errors. Uh, building dialyzer. Oh, this will take some time because uh, the dialyzer is like that's the thing that do uh, static code analysis. This take quite some time to to create. But one thing that we can already type is like this, so we can like let's create a function here, anything. But we can like num dot, and we already have all the the code completion. How these things work? So let me go to my dot files. And the thing what I have here is this thing Cox settings. You see here's the path for the Elixir language server. This is where I'm using to get grab all the, the content. One thing that you guys need to do is you can search like nail vim cock and now you can maybe elixir. Yeah, you guys need to run the command cock, uh, cock install cock elixir and do, 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 vim plug. I don't think that you need to run this thing here. Just put the, the configuration there and let me show you how my config file is set up. Uh, plugin this one here if we search for elixir the things that i'm doing for elixir are just elixir language the and why i can't recall why i use that but this is the the thing that's using elixir and my cock configuration is this thing here mm. maybe it was just that cock thing Anyway, I'm going to put my, my dot .5s in the description down below. Chilla Drift is like a mixture of a lot of configurations that I that I copied from other developers. I don't know exactly how this thing is done. I I saw recently a very good video from uh, Greg Harold on how we can like stop st start stop using the Vim script and move it to Lua. That's probably something I'm going to be doing my next vacation maybe like in three months from now, learning Lua so that I can configure it better in my editor. But well, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching and till next time. Happy coding. Bye.